Tonight's Health Watch, a little beyond incredible. Potential breakthrough in making organs in a lab. Israeli researchers have printed a 3D heart, complete with muscle and blood vessels. CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez is here. How long before this is ready for actual use? Incredible news. It's going to be a little while still. Printing an organ is much more complicated than squirting a bunch of cells into the shape of a heart or a kidney. There are blood vessels, valves, and other structures that are part of a functioning organ. Now, that said, researchers at Tel Aviv University have taken a big step toward off-the-shelf organs. You're looking at a speeded up video of a living heart being printed out. A 3D printing that includes not just heart cells, but blood vessels and other supporting structures. It's a small heart about the size of a rabbit heart. Not only are the cells alive, all of the different cell types in the heart came from a single human donor. You can grow these cells from the patient. They're able to do that, and those cells do not cause rejection. Dr. Anthony Atala of the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine is a pioneer in 3D printing of organs and tissues. He explained that the cells that made the heart came from a donor's fat tissue, which are then transformed into embryonic stem cells and then differentiated into the various cell types in the heart. Those cells are then printed into a biodegradable scaffold or skeleton that gives it its shape. And while it looks like a heart structurally, it's not yet functional. It doesn't pump. What we need to do is to make sure that these hearts are able to be hooked up so that they can pump and contract like they're supposed to in a normal patient. Dr. Atala says the first printed organs and tissues for actual human use will be simpler. Bladders, ears, blood vessels, and windpipes, some of which have already been implanted in patients. The more immediate value of the Israeli work is to make what they call a cardiac patch, a piece of functioning heart tissue to repair heart attack damage. Now that heart patch, which has an, in, an innate ability to contract, can integrate into the heart much more easily than building an entire heart, which has to contract in a very coordinated manner. Atria and ventricles have to pump in a precise sequence for blood to be pumped efficiently, so it's not quite ready for prime time yet. It'll be a few years down the road, but eventually we're going to get there. And research right. is around the world following this closely, exactly. I'm sure, to try to do it as well. You bet. patient here, though. Thank you, doctors. Yeah.